Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving Your Disaster battle playing as Yvres going up against Grom the Porch. So, this is on Legendary difficulty, and this guy said that he really needs to basically beat this, this battle here, even though the odds don't seem that bad. Um, he said that he's tried it a bunch of times, he tried uh, separating them, corner camping, a bunch of different things, and it doesn't seem to work. So, looking at what our army is, like, I got no problem with our army. And looking at his army, I can kind of see where things might be going wrong here. Because, like, you got a lot of archers, which is good, right? And the goblins are, they're really resistant to missiles because of their shield block. So that could be a big problem. Uh, so maybe what we need to be doing is prioritizing specific targets. Now, Grom has 45% missile resistance, so that's actually going to be very hard to kill him uh, with archers. But not impossible. Um, yeah, so I think we need to be very careful about what we decide to shoot at and and go for priority targets and just try to inflict the army loss penalty. Another thing is that because he's in encamp stance, he's going to get an additional 5 leadership and melee defense, so they're actually going to be a bit tougher than, than even usual on legendary difficulty. Anyway, I'll do the best I can and we'll see what we can do. We must avenge them. So maybe this will provide a bit of uh, help about what to do. Now, another thing that I'll do in this video is I'll explain the checkerboard formation because people have been um, asking about it a lot and I want to use this video here as sort of like the go-to to be like, okay, look, look, this is the video I did on, ch on checkerboard formation. This will explain it. Shouldn't need to explain it again during my live streams because I do find that I have to repeat myself a lot and I don't mind that much, but it can get a bit old for other people that have been watching and we have to be courteous of those as well. Okay, so I'll explain the checkerboard formation. Firstly, let's do it. Um, now, it depends on how many layers you want with your checkerboard formation, but I usually go two. Ideally, we want to make it like evenly spread out. So it's just two lines of, of you know equal columns. So it just makes it easier to deal with. Um, so he said that he tried corner camping. Uh, let's put them on the flanks over here. I'll have Eltharion try to just do whatever he can. Because he doesn't, uh, Grom doesn't have any magic. Gambling doesn't work, so don't bother with that. I'll see if I can actually capture Grom as well. And yeah, we'll get we'll get this to annoy them as well. Alright, so. Checkerboard formation, which I totally think this is what we should do. Is really, really good for archer-based armies. So this is something that I've sort of picked up fairly recently. Um, it's definitely a technique that's existed for a long time, but it's just one that I've picked up recently. I've just found it to be really, really effective. So what we do is make sure there's enough distance between the two lines. Take the second uh, column and then just move them forward and create kind of like a checkerboard. Now, what's so good about this formation? This is primarily good for the High Elves or anything that's really very Archer-based, which is very already very strong in this game. And the reason why this is so good is because when the enemy units come in in melee, right, they're not really able to attack the ones that are protected by the front. And the, what will happen is, say, an infantry unit comes in here and it tends to wrap around here without actually causing these guys to go into melee, right? But these guys have an absolute clear shot into the flanks of their units. So whilst these guys here will shoot at first, they come in, and then inevitably you're going to get them stuck into melee. But the thing is, melee units DPS on, on uh, Warhammer 2 is actually really low. So archers, while they are not good in melee, they can actually hold the line for a fair bit. And because we have so many archers, there are four layers of defense. So it takes a melee infantry army a really long time to break through. So that's what it's really all about. It's about maximizing our damage and accuracy and minimizing the enemy attack potential because they just can't inflict enough damage because they can't, they just don't push through the ranks fast enough. It, that's what it's really all about. It's about creating just a, a tar pit of front line and let the archers just keep shooting as much as possible. So the front line probably won't end up shooting most of their missiles. So if you've got different types of archers, make sure that your worst archers are in the front and uh, the most damage dealing archers are in the back so that they can actually get all of their ammo spent. So that's what we're going to be doing in this battle. I'll also be corner camping, which will make it even harder for them to inflict damage. So they can only really attack us from the front. They can't, um, they can't flank us. So that's the checkerboard formation in a nutshell. Another thing is that because square formations are really easy to rotate, if you need one archer unit or a couple of archer units to move from one target to another, 
rotating a square is a lot easier than rotating a big line. Alright, let's see what we can do here. So, we've got Ring of Corin, which is good against single entity targets, but should we bother using it on Grom? I don't know. I think I might try to get rid of this hero here first, which, rather than go for the units that we're not going to be effective against. Because the thing is, uh, Grom will heal constantly, but at the same time, yeah, I don't know. That's being said, so will Eltharion. Let's get rid of these archers, they seem to be pretty damn deadly. And what we want to be doing is, I think he already tried to do this, just keep as many of them behind here as possible. Looks like we're going to have to deal with those stone trolls. Just keep them lagging behind. Just to begin with, no need to go into melee. So that unit there should not be any problem. And I also notice he's got the uh, ability, uh, what was it, um, unending volley. So we should essentially have unlimited ammo, but it does regenerate very slowly. Okay, we've also got this spell here, which is not great. But if we use it on the stone trolls, problem is stone trolls are magic resistant, but they're bloody resistant against everything. We might want to go into melee with Grom. Not try to shoot him. Because he's not good against large targets. He's also not... Yeah, he's just not good against large targets. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Keep them pinned down over here. This is, this is working out pretty well so far. And we need to keep the Phoenix alive. Don't want to lose that. It's very easy for them to turn around and just shoot. And these ones here can turn around. Shooting right into the flank of the unit. Let's try to take out Grom last, I think. It's also really good for people that maybe aren't quite as good with micro. Because this is not micro-intensive at all. Alright, Grom's almost down. I'm trying to get this one up. I Victory's in our grasp! Okay. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's get Grom in here a little bit closer, and I'll pin him down, and we'll finish him off. Alright, everyone focus fire on Grom. Let's get rid of him, and let's actually capture him. Got him. Cool, get those two out of there. See, only the front line's fighting. It's also really good to have like heroes to pin them down. See how effective that was at like just delaying them even further. Okay, we got this. Let's pop that down. And there we go. Like no damage at all, really, to our army. Well, you know, of course there is some damage. And that's the checkerboard. They didn't even get through the front line. Like, these ones here didn't even get touched. And that's a utilized checkerboard formation. A brittle engine, it's cheese! Fuck off. <laughs> Now 
so yeah, we'll chase down. I reckon we should try to go for the stone trolls. Um, because it's very early in the campaign. Might not be able to replace them. And while it's going on, we'll just get some healing done on these two. Maybe have you go over there. Actually, no, no just keep going on with this one. So yeah, I think I'll give just one really quick last overview, just for people who just didn't quite get it on the first try there. Okay? Checkerboard formation. They got a little bit messed up here. The purpose of the checkerboard formation is to maximize the potential of archers. It really helps the corner camp. Okay? So, it maximizes their accuracy. At no point were any of these guys obstructed. And it minimizes the ability to enemy to do damage. Now, you wouldn't do this every single time. The checkerboard formation does have weaknesses. This here is an easy target for artillery. So, if you're going up against the Empire and they've got Hillstorm rocket batteries, uh, don't do this, okay? Because that's just like asking for trouble, okay? Mortars will destroy this, uh, but things like cannons will be okay. But ideally, what you want to be doing uh, is wasting that ammo before you even let them have a chance to do this. Because if you're going up against something with that kind of artillery, um, chances are they will, as long as you're the attacker, they'll probably just sit on the hill. Very important that you're always the attacker as the High Elves. Um... But yeah, apart from that, it's it's pretty damn decent. Works really well against flyers. Although if they bring in like lots of dragons, you want to spread out the checkerboard formation a bit more. Because flyers have a tendency of like maybe attacking one target and then dragging them over to another, so end up fighting two, pinning them down. And if you spread out a bit more, they can only fight one target at a time. And then you have all of your archers just shoot at one of them at a time until they're all dead. Try and get these two healed up as much as possible. So yeah, you definitely had all the tools you needed here to like get a great victory. It's just a matter of utilizing those tools correctly. The high off archer spam army is probably one of the best um, early game armies that you can use, but if you don't use it correctly, you can very easily fail with it. But as we can see here, using the checkerboard formation against this, we destroyed them so easily. Didn't need that banner, obviously. Is all they, are worth. they will toil for Ifres. And... Uh, <sighs> I mean, money would be good, but let's get you back up to full strength, because who knows how many other enemies are in the area. Yeah, you're going to be fighting a fair bit. I cannot rest. And there you go. You got yourself Grom the Paunch in there, and I'll let you do whatever you want with him. Anyway, that's the end of this one, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it, and hopefully that's explained exactly how checkerboard formation works. I think it's a really effective uh, strategy, but just don't, don't use it every single time, because it does have flaws. Anyway, that's it for this one. And I'll see you next time, fuckers.